Okay, now there are some parts in the game that they try to pad out the length. Because, as I said, the game takes uh, has a time limit of two hours. However, it does not necessarily take you two hours to beat the game. If you know what you're doing, you're going to do so in under an hour. So there are some parts that they have where they try to pad things out, try to increase the length of the game, to make it possible for you to run up against a two-hour time limit. And this is one of those things. This is a puzzle where you have to get a certain number on that box. I think you can guess what the number is. It's 78. The way it works, you have to pull the lever twice. The first one is straightforward. You have to get a 7. The second one, there's a little bit of a trick to it. The second number, whatever it lands on, you can add the number that you got the first time to it. So what we're going for is not actually 78, but rather 71 because once we land on the 1, it will increase by 7, giving us 78. So this is something that you not only have to figure out what to do, but you have to uh, get the timing down. And the timing is kind of tricky. This is not really... Um, it doesn't feel quite right. So you have to really... Uh, you're going to have to do this over and over again before you finally are able to land it on the 7 and the 1, which, as you're seeing me do right here, I am having a little bit of trouble. But I finally get it this time. And there's one other part in the game where they pad out the length like this, and we'll be seeing that in a couple of videos.
Thank you.